As I said less than two weeks ago, the Conservative Party has failed on the issue of mass migration. As figures revealed, net migration last year reached 745,000, that's 2022. And for this year, up until June, it stands at a provisional 672,000. So that's over 1.4 million in two years when we promised to get it down to the tens of thousands. But today, the Home Secretary unveiled another five-point plan that's intended to put a dent in these numbers as he said earlier. I can announce that we will go even further than those provisions already in place with a five-point plan to further curb immigration abuses and that will deliver the biggest ever reduction in net migration. In total, this package, plus our reduction in student dependence, dependence, will mean around 300,000 fewer people will come in future years than have come to the UK last year. It is fascinating that it's going to be a five-point plan. There must be something that spin doctors think about five points that is particularly convincing, because this is our third or fourth from memory. But of this plan, what are the points? Well, the first, to stop the abuse of foreign healthcare worker visas, with visa holders no longer being able to bring dependents, as well as care firms in England who use these visas, being regulated by the Care Quality Commission. Second, the current minimum salary, this is really important, for a foreign worker to work in Britain is now £26,200, but this will be increased to £38,700, roughly the median UK salary. Bear in mind, Suella Braverman wanted it £40,000. That was what she suggested um, previously as the threshold. Third, the shortage occupation list will be overhauled. This is a dreadful policy that has enabled companies to pay foreign workers 20% less than the going rate for a given job, incentivising firms to employ migrants over those already in the UK. And this discount will be ended and the list will be reformed. So it will help domestically employed people get a better standard of living rather than undercutting their wages. Fourth, people will only be able to bring dependents if they can support them financially, with the threshold for salary being increased to £38,700 for family visas. And fifth, a review of the graduate route to prevent abuse and the quality of higher education by concentrating on courses that may actually lead to good jobs. And we'll be discussing funny courses a bit later. The United Kingdom currently has an alleged labour shortage of roughly a million, but this is nonsense because we've been told to believe that we should solve this shortage by importing people when we've got five million people on this country on out-of-work benefits now, which is a tragic waste of talent and potential a cost to the taxpayer But it condemns these five million people to a less prosperous life. The best route out of poverty has always been, is always, employment. And mass migration has been used as a means of obscuring the unemployment crisis we currently face. We left the EU to pursue a high-wage, high-skill economy, but mass migration is the opposite of that, and it's been undercutting British workers. Whilst the nation has freighted over small boats... And the Rwanda policy, illegal migration, has been worked, at least temporarily, to the Prime Minister's advantage as a distraction from the greater problem of legal migration. The small boats, over the two years, 22-23, is 7% of the figure for legal migration. But with the latest figures, the public is no longer distracted and action had to be taken. And this, I think, is a make-or-break issue for the Tories. The question is... Are these reforms too little, too late for us? As always, I want to hear from you, mailmog at gbnews.com.